Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Lucifer, season number two, episode number 18, The Good, The Bad, and The Crispy. This this episode is directed by Karen um, um, Gaviola, and this is the season finale. This is where everything is wrapped up for this season right here. And we have, now usually we have Lucifer and Chloe working together to solve a case. Well, things have changed now because Lucifer knows how the person died, and he also knows who's responsible for this. It was his mom. And so, because of what happened last, because of what happened last episode, Lucifer's mom's power is starting to reemerge again. And the more it reemerges, her, her, her human body can, can't contain it, and it's starting to pretty much fall apart. Well, she gets stabbed last episode, and some of her light comes out, and it burns the guy's face off, and he dies. Well, that's a must have way to go, but that's what happens. And so they, so, so they find the body, and then Lucifer realizes, uh-oh, oh no. So he's trying to do everything he can to make sure that his mom does not get caught. Because if his mom goes to jail, we all die. We all die. So, he got, so, so instead of them working, instead of Lucifer and Chloe working together, they're, 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 they're working separately this time. And Chloe knows, knows something's off, she knows something's wrong, but Lucifer is not really telling her exactly what's going down because she knows that she's not ready for that. Yeah. Then you have what's going on with the man Adele, and he found out that he's the favorite son now, so now he's dealing with that, and he's trying to figure out, holy crap, what does, what does everything mean? Did I do, I, must, I did everything wrong. I thought I was doing the right thing, but it turns out I'm the favorite son. So I guess this plan that you're planning on doing can't happen anymore, because I have a responsibility to be the good, the good soldier, like I was supposed to be from the beginning. So now he's turning against Lucifer, and Lucifer's like, what is, dude, you let this go to your head, okay? You're not dad's favorite son. He just uses you like he uses me. Calm down. And then you have what's going on with um, Linda Martin. And Linda knows what's going on with Lucifer and what his plans are and what his agenda is because Lucifer tells her everything. And so that caused her to have a problem with Charlotte because Charlotte doesn't know what, what Lucifer's planning on doing because Lucifer, uh, Linda had a little slip up and because of that, got into a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. And then you have the ending. Now, the ending part of this episode is going to be a spoiler. I'm not exactly sure what exactly happened, but I'm intrigued. Now, Lucifer Burt got rid of his wings when he came to Earth a long time ago. He got rid of his wings, and when he found his wings, he destroyed them. Got rid of them. But now he decides to tell Chloe everything about who he is and everything. And then he gets knocked out. He wakes up in the desert with no shirt on, all bruised up. And then he has his wings back. Now, I don't know exactly what happened. How did his wings come back? Who put him there? How did he get him back? Was it God? Somebody else? Another angel? I don't know. But he has his wings again. What does this mean? Does this change anything? Again, I don't know. We can find that, find that out next season. But overall, this for season finale, I really didn't enjoy it a whole lot. It's a whole lot of fun. I always enjoy this show. The acting from every one of the characters on the show is just great, especially from Tom Ellis. He does an amazing job at Lucifer. He's the he's the person that you want to watch and see the most. And then you have other characters on the show who also do an amazing job. You have um um D B Woodside as Amandale. I enjoy his relationship he has with Lucifer, and I also like the relationship he has with Dan in, in, um, in the season so far. He, he'll have a fun there. Especially the funny part when it's him trying to do improv and not understanding nothing at all what's going on. And then you have my favorite character, R. Mazikin, who's played by Leslie Ann Brandt. And she has some funny moments in here too, which I really do enjoy. And I, I, I love seeing her, her, her character evolving and growing on the show, and I'm enjoying that. And especially the scene she had with Trixie, and Trixie's playing a doctor with her. And you have Trixie, you have Trixie, Magic King, and then Lucifer shows up and watches them all together like that, which is fun. And it's also very sweet at the same time, too. And then you have, like, Linda Martin, played by Rachel Harris. And I'm, I have been enjoying her on the show since the first season because she can be funny at times, too. Bring a comedic element, but she also brings a, 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 a dramatic, mix, dramatic element to the table as well. I, I really do enjoy. And I enjoy how she bounces off of Lucifer and Magic King when they, when they interact with one another. Because she knows what's going on, and she's powerless to do anything about it, really. And she's freaking out, 
because she knows the scale of what's going to happen when things go down, but she can't tell anybody. And when she meets certain people, she doesn't know how to react to them, but she acts like a person who, like, how would you act if you met a goddess or you met God himself? Like, how would you, what would, would, would you react? And she, because everything she has learned in her life, she had to throw out the window. Because, because these people are came into her life, and I, and I really do enjoy her on the show. So, overall, like I said before, it was a great season finale. And left it open to some questions that I'm looking forward to finding out what's going to happen next season. Especially with the whole wings thing with Lucifer. And will Lucifer actually tell Chloe everything? Will she be able to handle it? Will it split him apart? I mean, most likely, she most likely is going to handle it. I can see her like freaking out at first, but I can see her coming around. And if she, if she does know, will they still become a couple because of that? That would be interesting. Because she finds, because he, because he, because he, because he, he, he most likely had to tell her that she, that she, that she pretty much a, a gift from God. That's going to be something that's going to blow up my mind. Yeah. So, like I said, like I said before, great, great season finale, great episode, but I did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Lucifer. And are you looking forward, for, looking forward to the next season? And if you um, haven't been watching this, so check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel the big old like, hit the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Because like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.